Good morning, good e afternoon, good evening. This is Tragic Life. Um, we're still in the middle of the... Huh, the Pokemon Tower where we're fighting ghosts. This is the first time I've come across a wild hunter. We're going to go ahead and try to catch him. Wish me luck. Here we go. That's going to hurt. Seriously. This isn't going very well. It's alright if you lose Pokemon, I'll explain why in a second. I don't think this is good enough to catch him, but let's go take a swing at it. Yeah, I think so. My plant-based uh, creatures are terrible in this dungeon so far. Seriously. might work out. Of course. I want him in red, but I might not be able to get him in red. Okay, so we're going to take a swing at it. Okay, um, I'll be right back when I catch him. Alright, welcome back. That was a fight, I, I tell you now. That was not a fun fight, but that was a fight. Um, he completely beat my uh, gloom, but we caught him, so if I like him, I might bring him in. We'll see. By licking it saps the victim's life. It causes shaking that won't stop until the victim's demise. Um, let's see what... I don't know if he's actually ranked the haunter in this. Um, it doesn't look like it, but I'm assuming it's going to be pretty rated high as well because of the, the whole concept of the Ghastly is ranked pretty high and they're pretty weak. So um, I'll meet you when I catch the next one.
All right, so this is the last one in this area. Um, let's see if we can catch him. If I don't catch him, I'll catch him off screen. You guys know how that works. So we're going to hit him with acid. Acid's been pretty good at winding their levels down um, without killing them. Yeah, I should be able to get him in a good position to catch him. So we're doing all right. Come on. We got this. We got this. And you want to catch a cube bone no matter what because you can actually trade him for something in a little while. When we're able to do that, I will let you know. All right. Don't kill him. Don't critical. Just get him to red. Perfect. All right, here we go. Yes. Where's the skull of its deceased mother? It cries, echo inside the skull, and come out a sad melody. So he's rated a D in this game. Um, decent attack and ground is great type, but HP is special and speed are slow, or very low. Uh, particular bad speed, meaning it will often be t taking damage. Oddly, it learns many special moves despite its poor special attack. So it could be one that you could use in place of like um, what we ha I have as a Ma, uh, the Nidorana. You can use him in a place of that. So before we leave, go ahead and step back on that. This, this platform right here is why this is a really good uh, area to level up. You can get the heals here and there's random battles. So it kind of works out in a really good spot. Um, so yeah, let's go to the next floor. What? Wait. I gotta find my spot. Okay, so we should. Let's see. Okay, this is problematic. Okay, so we're gonna have to, I'm gonna start thinking here. Gloom and, and Weeping Bell are terrible in this um, area. Just letting you know. Give me blood! Okay, calm down, ma'am, I think. <sighs> I'm gonna do absorb just to hit it. We're bringing up Pidgeotto. Yes. Why would I switch back to Ghastly or uh, Gloom? Because we need to level Gloom up. I'm going to do the same kind of concept of switching out when I get... Ugh. When I get to uh, Weeping Bell. That way, the weak character gets enough. There we go. That's awesome. Another ghastly, yep. 
So now we're gonna go to Weeping Will. Okay. Sorry, I was reading ahead. All right. That yeah, she grown. So you're gonna come down here. We're gonna grab the X accuracy. I'm probably gonna use it in the next fight just to get rid of it. Let's go ahead and move Gloom here. All right, we should be good. We'll keep going. We're going to go up. We're going to get into a fight here. This one won't be as bad as the last one. Charlie just looked at me like I'm crazy for making that noise. Okay. Let's go ahead and whip him. Won't do much, but to do something. Oh, he's going to catch a nightshade. That's going to hurt. Is it going to kill him? I don't think so. Close. Now we'll switch out for Pidgeotto. Alright. Okay. Alright. I wanted to... So I'm going to use that super accuracy. Because I need room in my items. Right, that should be enough. Of course. So we're going to switch out to Pidgeotto. Something fell out. What? Okay. So you, in order to go. <sighs> okay, I'm paralyzed. So apparently the weeping bell is really good against the um, cue bones. Okay. So you got a rare candy. So actually, puts us in a really good position. Uh, where's my. 
you can't move forward unless you get the rare candy. Just heads up. We're gonna go ahead and use it on the Weeping Bell to level them up. Because we're gonna make this next fight really, really easy. Because it can't really hurt flying Pokemon. Be gone, intruders. Okay, so this is a Marowak. You can't, you can't catch this thing. Unveil the ghost identity. Um, you can you can technically use the polka doll to get to skip this encounter. Uh, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to beat him. But uh, it only has one attack and move. Flying type Pokemon cannot take damage from him, which is good to know because he, he's he's pretty strong. But uh, he also his low special makes it take large amounts of damage from water, ice, and grass. And we're almost done. Perfect. Let's see what the wing attack does. Nothing. Okay. All right, we got him. The ghost was the restless soul of a Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. That's not dark. All right, before we move any further, let's go ahead and heal up. So another thing you're going to only get Okay. So this you only get this fight in Pokemon Yellow. Stop right there. Grandpa here wanted to complain, so we're setting him straight. So render yourself invisible or prepare to fight. So this is only in Yellow. In red and blue, you will instead fight three separate rocket guys. Meowth hasn't grown. Okay. We're almost done with this, guys. Oh, it actually hit me this time. Eh, decent damage. We're gonna hit it with Gust, weakest of my attacks. And he goes down. About to use an Arbok. Yeah. You look dangerous, so we're gonna fly away. Didn't really do much. Didn't poison me, and that's probably the worst thing that thing does. Ooh, that was pretty decent. Am I actually paralyzed? Am I not going to wake up? Okay. Alright, there goes that one. Alright, level 33. Rocket is about to use a wheezing. Yes. We're going to go to Grappler. And we're going to go for the uppercut. Ugh. 
Oh, dig. <sighs> oh. Okay. And that should be it. You will regret this. One day, maybe. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. So in red and blue, you will fight uh, a Rocket member with uh, two Zubats, both level 25, and a level 25 Golbat. And then you'll fight uh, another one with a level 26 Coughing and a level 26 Drowsy, and one more with a level 23 Zubat, level 23 Rattata, level 23 Radicate, and a level 23 uh, Zubat. I do feel like fighting him. All right, Mr. Fuji, yeah, you came to save me? Thanks, you. But I have come here of my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think my Arawak spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Okay, we're going to talk to Mr. Fuji. Fuji, I've been praying alone for Cubone's mother. Oh. Ash, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your... Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. All right. On hearing Pokes Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. All right. So this is actually to wake up and battle the snor two Snorlaxes on Route 12 and 16 so that you can proceed to pass them. It can also be used in battle to wake up sleeping Pokemon immediately, which is very useful. However, be aware that it will wake up opposing Pokemon as well. Um, and I think this is where I'm going to leave you. I think we did pretty good here. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to do more today or not. Uh, probably, because I've got time. So until next time, adios amigos.